Welcome to Graphic Element, where you can explore your imagination. Hello guys, welcome again to another Graphic Element tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be showing you how to make a low poly portrait. Now, what is a low poly? A poly is just a short term for the word polygon. Polygon is a term using 3D computer graphics. Every 3D design is made out of polygon, but instead of using 3D software, we're going to be doing this, we're going to be accomplishing the same design, the same effect using Photoshop. Now, a few things I would like for you to keep in mind while we do this effect is that the more triangle or better, the more polygon we use, the more detail the design will be. For instance, as you can see over here during the eye, at the eye area, there's more triangles, more polygons, therefore it's more detailed in comparison to the cheek area or even the mouth area over here is very detailed. So let me show you how I've accomplished this effect. First what you want to do is choose the image you want to use. I decided to use this image and the first thing we want to do is we're going to create a triangle. So first let's duplicate our layer and we're just going to call it copy and we're gonna use the polygonal lasso tool that's at the left side and let's just zoom in at our image and let's create a triangle and now we want to go to filter blur average by doing this we've created the average color of the background layer which is the image and we've implemented that within a triangle. So let's just click Control D to the select the image and let's create another triangle. Let's click on average. Let's create another triangle. And let's just zoom in to a layer. As you can see, the edge of the triangles are not connected to each other. You can see there's a little bit of gap. So we want to fix that. And how we're gonna fix that? We're gonna add a grid so it can make everything easier for us when we want to use the triangle. I'll make a triangle, so just go to your view show grid and now let's make another triangle just making a few random triangle right now oh sorry Now let's zoom in in our layer again and yeah we can see they are connected to each other the edge of triangle or in line but however we want to tell Photoshop that we want the, the polygons the lasso tool to automatically snap at the grid so we don't have to choose a point in space for example like that one or here we don't want to do that, we want to snap at the edge of the grid. So let's go to view, snap to, and make sure that grid is selected. Now next time we create a, another polygon, and you can see that our lasso tool wants to automatically snap to the edge of the grid. So we can go here, and here, and go to average. We can create another polygon again by a clicking on there there and you can just double click to join the end and go to filter average and there you go now this time we can zoom in you can see that the layer have been connected 
awesome also make sure that your grid uh, settings are correct you can go to edge preference guide grids and slices make sure that your grid line are every 15 pixel or even 10 pixel whichever you're satisfied with I've decided to use 15 and my subdivision is 1 and my dash style in my style I decided to use dash line because it's easier you can also use dots so you can just make it easier to snap snap to every dot every edge but I decided to use dash line now we want to create the same poly polygon the same triangle over and over again this time we want to put the triangle at its own layer so let's create another triangle for instance let me just zoom in let's create another triangle by selecting the lasso tool make sure it snap to the edge and this time we want to click on ctrl j to add on a new layer now we're going to select the same layer we're going to click on it by choosing ctrl and click on the layer and go to blur filter blur and average now you can see that the the average color of the background layer was created again but however this time we've created the polygon at its own layer now we want to do the same thing over and over again however we don't want to create the same triangle manually because it's gonna take time it's gonna be a lot of work so we want to tell Photoshop to help us do that we want to tell Photoshop the steps that we want to make so when we create a triangle it creates a triangle for us it uses the filter effect that we want to use and it puts the triangle at its own layer for us so we don't have to keep doing it over and over again so how will we do that we're gonna do that by adding an action now what we want to do is we're gonna create an action where we tell Photoshop to create a lot of triangles a lot of polygons so just go on Windows and click on action however mine's already open over here let's just create a new set let's create a new action you can name it whatever you want and now first thing we want to do is want to stop the recording let's make a random selection of a triangle and we're gonna start recording again click on this circle first thing I want to do is click, click on the background line, layer and then we're gonna hit ctrl J and we're gonna click name the new layer polygon and we're gonna click on the actual layer by hitting ctrl and clicking within the layer we're gonna go filter blur average and now what we want to do is we're gonna deselect the layer and stop your recording now I want to create a double click on the action so we can use a shortcut so we don't have to keep we can just use a one key shortcut so we can just press one key when whenever we want to do the same thing click on ok now let's get started creating the polygon just ignore this so let's just zoom in now I want to do is make a triangle click on F2 as you can see it has done that and put a new layer maybe doing the same thing over and over again just double click one thing you have to keep in mind is that when whenever you do create a triangle you want to make sure that it snaps to the edges so we can't create the triangle there it has to be over here every time and every ages and keep going
Now we're gonna start over. However, this time we're gonna speed up the process. And when you're done you're gonna have something like this what I've done is basically I've added a stroke to it a black stroke and I'm gonna show you how I've done it however this time what we're gonna do is just add a white one and let's take the gradient on uh, go to stroke by double click on the layer and let's just select the color white you can put your pixel to 5 10 whichever you prefer I've decided to use 5 we're gonna left click on the layer and we're gonna choose copy layer style now we're gonna click on this little image icon there we're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom layer and hold shift and you can see every layer is selected now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on paste layer style and it's gonna paste the stroke all over the whole the whole layer just a second my computer is a bit slow 